Paul Russ here. Welcome to RVR TV and good morning. This is Samoa Dunes Campground. I love this place. It was so quiet last night. You could just hear that water. Beautiful. Now this is the bay, the inlet bay. Ocean's on the other side of the dune. Anyway, if you ever get over here around Eureka, definitely camp here. It's worth it. There was a few fishermen launching their boats through the night. Didn't bother anybody. You could barely hear them. They must go out and do night fishing. But it was just too cool. Showers are great. Restrooms are clean. Just a per perfect little place for 20 bucks. Love it. But Time to get on the road. Right, heading down the, I don't know, the dunes road here. <laughs> Whatever you call it. We're gonna go back over to 101 and we're gonna head north. We're not gonna go very far today. Also, I found another county campground. It's a little farther north. We're gonna check that out tonight too. This is the way we came in. We came in from the right, but on Google Maps, we're going to go straight, and that'll bypass uh, a lot of town, and we'll end up on the north side of Eureka. So, we're going to continue on. And it looks like the commercial business district over here, logging different businesses. We're almost up to 101 right up here. Here we are, 101 North. Yay. Gonna go up a little town called Trinidad. They got a little harbor. Ought to be good picture taking. Even in the cloudy weather. But this is normal. But you know what? It's 90 degrees inland. And it's like 60 here. So I'll take the clouds. Alright. Let me get on the freeway here. 101. And I'll be back. Almost here. One very far, just a few miles. Trinidad. They got a state beach here. Marina. Bunch of fishing boats. Quaint little town, I heard. That's what people were telling me. That host back at the other campground, man, he had a ton of info. Okay, let me exit here. Freeway. Aha. Gas station. I'm just going to throw a couple gallons in. I'm, I've been keeping minimal gas in the tank to until uh, I get up to Oregon. <laughs> Tired of this four bucks a gallon stuff. Alright, I'm going to get a couple gallons and uh, then we'll go find that marina. The station said just wind your way through town here, which is not very big at all. There's the ocean. Yay. And we're going to head straight down. He said there's free parking. Beautiful homes. How'd you like to live here? What a view. My 
goodness. Okay, doesn't look very big, but that don't matter. State Beach, here we are. We'll get parked here. Then we'll walk down the beach. Here. They got a pier. There's a restaurant on the other side. We'll walk over there in a little while. But we need our Zen moment of the day. You can never get tired of the ocean. Pretty place. Both the big rocks, huh? You can really hear it crashing, the water crashing. fires here. I've seen a bunch of that up in Washington three years ago where they piled up the wood like that. Burned it at night. Okay, one last look. We're going to walk up on that low rock there with all the trees. Lighthouse is a memorial to people lost at sea. There's rental houses. Look at the sirens. That's for a tsunami. Tsunami warning siren. I do not want to hear them. <laughs> not at all. Of course, I'm up on this hill. Anyway, let's go up here and check the view. There you go. Look at that, a metal pier. Huh. Bunch of fishing boats, all the little commercial guys. Look at them all. Wonder what they get, probably crab. The other side. That's where we were down on that beach. What a pretty place. You can go all the way up this trail, and I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to hike that far. Do we? So, this is Trinidad State Beach. Definitely check it out. It's all day use, there's no camping here. Now, there was RV parks in town that I passed. But this be a neat little stop. All these little coastal towns are, are very pretty and a lot of things to see. A ton of history, too. Alright, let's go down to the pier. And there's a replica of the lighthouse. They just had a memorial. Look at the bell. That'd be cool. They said a memorial service a couple days ago here. Trinidad.
Trinidad Pier reconstruction. Okay. Oh, you could have parked down here too. Hmm. Looks like all free parking, no, no uh, fees. I don't think you'd want to bring an RV down here. That's a big one or anything. There's a restaurant up here too. Check this out. Look how they uh, they hoist the boat off your trailer onto a dolly and then they roll the boat down into the water. You can't back down in there. I've never seen a setup like that. They got guys doing it. They put straps around the boat, pick it up off the trailer, set it on their dolly cart, and then wheel you down in the water. <laughs> cool. Almost have to because of the tide coming in and out. Man, look at this thing. This thing's solid metal, concrete, water rolling over the rocks. Look at that. Pretty. What a pretty, pretty place. There's a seagull sitting up there. I don't know if this little camera will pick it up. Right up there in that grassy area, there's a seagull. Must be nesting, I bet. What a view he has, huh? See you, Mr. Seagull. So this is Trinidad Pier and State Beach. Nice. Nice little stop. Glad I, glad I came here. Food smells good coming out of that restaurant, but not my budget. I rarely eat out. Can't afford it. All right, they're rolling in the boats. All right, let's head back to the van. Well, too cool for school. Love it. Well, any <laughs> any morning on the ocean is a good morning. But what a little town! This is not very big at all. Tiny little community, small town USA, Trinidad, California, state beach and pier with fishing boats. Can't beat it. All right, we're gonna get back on 101 North. We're just gonna go up a little ways and then I'm gonna get off the road there's another county park called Big Lagoon. It's a county park, has the same rate fee, showers, restrooms. Guess what? You're right on the water. So, that'll be home for tonight. Let's go check it out. It was like eight miles from Trinidad. The road. It's a big lagoon. 
little brown sign says Big Lagoon County Park. That's what I'm looking for. The trees, and there's the ocean. They got a little inlet bay here too. They got a swimming area for kids. You can rent, I think, kayaks and stuff here. Once again, this is a county park. Campground straight ahead. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, this is only day use here. I want the campground. Let's go find it. Well, how nice is this? Look, it's pretty much empty. No one's here. I've got four bars on my cell phone. Good cell reception. All right, grab a slip and get checked in. Well, I'm home. <laughs> Making me some cup of tea. Cinnamon stick. Tea. Got a picnic table. This is space number two at the Big Lagoon Campground. Right there. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it. My little burner stove. Fans all set up. Batteries are fully charged. Come on, I'll walk you over the water. Right to here, this is the inlet bay. That dune straight ahead is the ocean, and you can hear it roar. So, this is home for the night. Love it. Love these county parks here. Man, what a treat. Any day, you betcha. Alright, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. Also in the description, support the channel, buy me a cup of coffee, get a t-shirt, coffee mug, shop on Amazon. This is Russ signing off now. Take care all.